to work out anything about a cylinder. We'll look at volume later on, but for today we're just thinking about the surface area. This is how much space the whole surface would take up if I unfolded it. Okay? You need to know two pieces of information to work out anything about a cylinder. Um, you've got to know its size. So part of it is circular, right? The base and the base at the top. When you're working out, when you're describing the size of a circle, what's the usual piece of information you give to say this is a big or a small circle? Radius. You need the radius, right? So let's draw on here. I'm going to put a big fat dot to indicate the center. And when you go up to the circumference, there's the radius, okay? So you need to know how wide this thing is. That's the first piece of information. But this cylinder, it could be like a really fat squashed one down here, or it could be very long and tall. So what other piece of information do I need? I need the height, don't I? Okay. So off on the side here, we need the height. Okay. Now these two pieces of information are what we're going to use to work out surface area. Same thing for volume. Okay. We'll worry about surface area first. Now remember I said to you, like it's like if you wrapped it, like if you literally got wrapping paper and wrapped it, it's like how much wrapping paper would you need? Okay. Now, there's an easy part and a trickier part to this. The easy part first is, think back to the very first exercise you did back in this unit. We said we were looking at curved things. Okay. So you've got the top and the bottom, and they are both circles. right? So the surface area is going to be the top and the bottom, which are just going to be circles. And then there's one last bit, the main part, actually. How would you describe that? The path that goes around. Hmm. A rectangle that's not straight. Yeah, we'll get to that name. Usually, it's called the curved surface area. Because the top and bottom are flat, but this part is what wraps around. Okay. Now, I'll get to the curved surface area in a minute. Let's just talk about the top and the bottom. The top and the bottom are congruent to each other. They're exactly the same size and shape. At least you'd hope so, if it's a cylinder. How do I work out the area on the top and the bottom? Yeah, I need the radius. What am I going to stick into? What formula am I going to pop it into? It's pi r squared, right? And there's a top and a bottom. So it's actually pi r squared times 2. I'm going to write the number out the front. Okay? So I've got top and bottom. But then to work out this curved bit, well, this is a little bit tricky. You need to visualize this. So I thought I can do better than get you to imagine. Um, I thought, okay. I thought, okay, well, this is what a cylinder looks like, right? Um, you've worked out the top, you've worked out the bottom, which look the same. And then it's this part that goes around, which is the tricky part, okay? So, um, someone already mentioned, right? It's like, well, if I were to, like, cut this thing apart, okay? Let's get the top and the bottom off. It's okay. Don't cry, it's all right. In um, 15 minutes of my life, I'm never getting back. Um, if I take off the top and the... Yeah, I know, don't... Just, just wait till... Wednesday, you'll see. Uh, if I take off the top, in fact, I'm not going to put this over here. If I put this over here, <clears throat> there we go, there's the top. And if I take off the bottom, when you see what's left, which is hollow, um, because I'm not very good at constructing these things. So the solution is, I know, add more tape. Once you've, uh, once you've separated out the top and bottom, it's not a fine help, Andrew, on wrapping presents. Yeah, that's right. It's like, would you like some wrapping paper with that tape? It's mostly tape. All right, now have a look, guys. Have a look at this thing with me. I want to know how big this thing is, right? So you can actually see, if you squint really hard, what I constructed this out of, right? What shape was it before it was this round thing? And the answer is... There we go. If you slice it down where I originally had it, okay, voila. Right? So, I mean, it could be a square, but I think it'd be a pretty, a pretty fat-looking cylinder if it was. Okay. Now, here's my question, right? You already have told me about two pi r squared. That's fine. Okay. It's a rectangle. What is the area of a rectangle? It's length times breadth, right? So here's the here's the length here. Okay. And the breadth we usually describe is like, how, how broad is it? Okay, now think about it this way. Actually, I've oriented it the wrong way. Um, this is, um, it was unwrapped, right? So it used to be like this. So I'm holding it upright according to what our cylinders look like on the page. So actually when I unwrap it like this, have a look at, let me, um, let me rewrite my letters. 
Have a look at this distance up and down. Can you see where this distance here corresponds to on this diagram? Can you see it? I think this, right? This is the height here. This is how high my cylinder was. Do you agree? So then, that's right. You lied to me in song. I hate it when people do that. Now, this width here. How do I find out what this width was? Where did it come from? And the answer is, the answer is, it used to be around this thing, didn't it? Oh, you guys are so easily amused. Okay. Now, if you remember, you can even see my tape, right? Can you see the tape? How it went around? So therefore, where did this come from? It's all the way around. Do you see that? See that? that? It's right there. It's the circumference. That's exactly right. Wait a second, wait a second. How do I work out circumference? It's 2 pi r. Right? Okay, so now that you told me... Right, come on. Now that you told me what the area of the two circles are, what's the area of this rectangle? 2 pi r. And that's that. It's not complicated, right? In fact, it's one of the nicest, most memorable formulas that there is in, um, in measurement. So, so, so yeah, the 2 pi r squared, that's the circles. 2 pi r h, that's the curved part. 